Hey everyone, Chip here, and today I'd like to share with you a new product straight out of the KidOps Labs that will help all your models look and render more realistically. But first, a word about the KidOps ecosystem. KidOps has been hugely successful, and as of right now, we have over 35,000 downloads of all our products, and that doesn't even count all the downloads of our partners. So I want to tell you, our goal is to create a full, best-in-class ecosystem around all the fantastic things you can do with KidOps. Perhaps you've seen our latest product, KitOps Batch, which helps you quickly create organized assets from all your existing kit bashing and material systems. And hopefully, before Christmas, you'll see KitOps Synth, which will introduce some breakthrough algorithms for programmatically placing KitOps inserts using recipes. It's already creating some excitement among the testers. And so I'd like to introduce to you the next product in the KitOps series, KitOps Bevel. Our team, including Bongiorno7 and Michael Simprivio, have been working overtime to finish this one up, and it's everything I thought it would be. To understand Bevel, you need to understand that one of the last and most important steps in creating realistic objects is adding a small bevel to the final product. These tiny bevels catch the light and communicate to the eye that something is real. And in Blender, we have a bevel modifier, which we can use to add a final bevel to some models. But unfortunately, many models cannot use the bevel modifier without destroying the surface topology and causing nasty render artifacts. So, what do we do? Well, we can use some rendering trickery to create fake bevels. And in fact, we can do much more. And when we do this, we get the added advantage of not adding geometry to our model. So what we've done with KitOps Bevel is to use that same bit of magic to create a simple system to add bevels to any object, which will render with both EV and cycles. And for good measure, we've also added worn bevels, which have been notoriously hard to create in Blender. In fact, typically I've had to go into Substance Painter and add them for different projects. So let's consider this car tire. It was made quickly with modifiers and metaballs were used for the wheel. As you can see by the wireframe, the geometry is very complex. And as you can see in the EV rendered image, we've applied a rendered bevel to both the tire and wheel, each with a different radius setting. And it works perfectly. And here's an example of using rendered bevels with an additional mask to combine two different materials. We call this the worn edge effect. It is also sometimes referred to as chipped paint. This is also a non-geometry solution using rendered bevels. And another example using a dirty worn rubber material. KitOps Bevel also lets you simply add dirt in all the right places. Of course, you can adjust the bevel size, the worn edge effect, and there's so much more. So let's just show how easy this actually is. I'm going to click on this and let me show you that this is just nothing more than an insert. So we've added a KitOps insert here. This is a basic cube. It's got a bevel with some edges. And that's, that's really it. So what I want to do is I want to add bevels to this quickly. I'll come into here in the bevel. And first I'll do is I'll apply these modifiers. Then I'll do UV unwrapping with these default settings. Then I'll go into the adjust bevels mode. And so let's take a look here. And let's make this, let's put it down to 3.3 .3 right there. Okay, once we've done that, I can stop the preview and I'll hit the bake normal. And this is baking at a texture And this is baking a texture resolution of 1024. You can see it baking down here. And now it's done. Once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and generate material. It's going to use the default materials. And you can see how nice that turned out perfectly. It's a great bake, and that's only at a 1K. So now let's go ahead and add the worn bevel. So I'm going to click over here on worn bevel, select my object. And since we've already UV unwrapped it, we don't need to do that again. And let's preview the mask. That's too big. We want the mask to be almost uh, twice as large as this. So let's see, 0.06 tab. Nah, maybe, maybe just even a little bit smaller, 0.05. Let's try that. And let's bake the mask. Notice I didn't stop the preview that time because if I click the bake button, it automatically stops it. And so we'll see it progress down below. Now that it's done, hit the generate material. And you can see that we have a very nice worn edge. And one of the nice things is that these edges are only shown on the convex surfaces. The concave surfaces, which are the ones down here, are not worn at all. 
And that's because, in reality, that would never happen. You wouldn't have something scratching on the inside of it. You would only scratch stuff on the outside. So we can adjust these bevels, and we're going to get into that in the next video.